Hey Aries, this is Jackie Tama. This is your general reading. We're taking a look at January 23rd, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, as always, if you're enjoying these videos, let me know. Hit me up with the comments. I greatly appreciate it. Now, um, don't forget your weekend videos are up as well as your monthlies. And let's get started here. Let's jump right in. Uh, Aries, you are dealing with a fellow... Uh, fire sign, another Aries, Leo, and or Sagittarius, okay? That is in the picture. You are also making plans for summer. Some of you are putting together a business deal. There's some type of celebration here, and there's also a quick glimpse of your temper, so I want to throw that out there as well. Uh, you could also be signing a contract or getting ready for a large lease and or purchase. So, Yes, we are filming live today. You can scroll down below and you will find the button for the chat room. Uh, but let's see what we have for Aries. This is your week of January 23rd, 2023. First card up, you guys got the Six of Wands. Six of Wands says to you, total happiness, total contentment. This is total victory and success. Uh, some of you being surrounded by um, people that you're not normally surrounded by um, could be in the spotlight. I think Mus musicians, singers, anything like that. Okay. All right. And to go with that, we have the world, as in the world is your oyster. Things are going your way. And we have. Ooh, two of cups. Joining of two people gathering date night. Um, could be intensity and love. Doesn't have to be. Let's see what else we have going on here. Hello, everyone. We have the eight of wands. That's beautiful. You got the six of wands that says total victory and success. And this comes in with happiness and contentment. Also indicating some love arrows flying around. Yep. In the center of the reading, you've got the lover's card. Okay. So let's see what else we have going on here. We have the Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with a Virgo energy. Um, you could also be dealing with someone of a di different culture, to be honest with you. Um, this is someone that's going to come in and lend some advice. Um, and it's not unwanted. It's unexpected, but it's good advice. And for whatever reason, some of y'all are getting a new bed. Whatever resonates with someone. We have the king of swords so we have a power couple here for my aries um someone wise someone coming in also with good advice but someone that may have a sharp sharp tongue very set in their ways does not like change could be a libra you got the magician you know the magician is the highest card in the deck saying you get everything you want and desire it's right there on the table before you it's your yes answer and uh, in regards to the, matter of the matters of the heart, for my singles, you may have more than one offer. So, yeah, all that. It's a really good spread for my Aries. Okay, we're going to clarify this. We're going to go a little bit further here. See what else we have. Okay, on that six of wands up there. got the ten of pentacles you've got the abundance card okay um and of course this is money and um highest financial card you know this is everything this is your health your wealth your family your friends also want to warn against some frivolous spending that i see here okay be warned of that on the world card Comes, look at there the sun the sun shines brightly in all that you do what a great combination of the world and the sun it's almost like you can do no wrong for some of you i see you visiting somewhere new um could be outside doesn't have to be but i just believe it's somewhere new maybe a park maybe a trail something good like that on the two of cups and the union of the two people 
we have the five of swords, okay? So on this date night or whatever, you're guarded, you're defensive. Let it down. Let it down. Know it's okay to go out. Know it's okay to have a good time. Let your guard down. On the Eight of Wands, we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so we got the Queen of Swords here twice. You're definitely dealing with the Virgo energy. Uh, you definitely have this lady coming in with some advice for you. This is someone, it's almost like a spirit guide in person. Does that make sense? And in the middle of the reading on that Lover's card, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Financial independence, uh, making financial plans. Now, let me say this, okay? Um, an Aquarius may or may not resonate with you, uh, but you're looking at doing something different. Maybe you're looking at branching out. Perhaps you own a business. Maybe you're start, starting a second location, okay? Something there you're branching out. On that first Queen of Swords, we have the Nine of Swords, okay? So sleep disruption. Some of you are lost asleep. Okay, not all of you, but some of you, it's a loss of sleep or you're having problems staying asleep. Some kind of sleep disruption there. On the King of Swords, we are looking at the Eight of Wands. Again, happiness, contentment. And on the Magician, The Six of Wands. Again, total victory, total success. Wow, this is awesome. Awesome for my Aries. And on that, ooh, Page of Swords. Yep, we're going to take them. Comes in with the message of the Hermit. This says, no matter how bajiggity you feel, this says you are on the right path. We have the Lovers again. We have the Four of Wands. Someone coming in to offer a relationship. Some of you, this could lead to marriage or it's an offer of marriage. Uh, we have the Page of Wands, the Sagittarius Energy, which is your messenger card. And the message is the Ten of Wands, your obstacles are almost over. Carrying them, you know, creating a new path, a better path, that right path that Armin's talking about with the Ten of Cups. So, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, strong new beginning. Ten of Cups, you're definitely going into a relationship. If you are not a couple now, you will be. You've got both relationship cards in the deck. I have no reason to extend this reading. Um, you've got total victory and total success twice. You've got a Virgo here twice. You have um, happiness and contentment twice. Um Two tens and trumping your entire reading. Oh, you got the lovers twice too. Is the magician. So I've got no reason to extend this reading. Aries, I think you're in a wonderful spot. You've got new doors opening. You've got new opportunities. And you really need to savor and take advantage of the week of the 23rd. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking a personal reading. Logging off. Coming right back with Taurus. Taurus, it'll be your week of the 23rd.